Hi, welcome to Tech Talk. My name is Ryan with All Computer Resources. Today I'm going to show you how to replace an engine computer and perform a 30 minute key relearn procedure for any GM vehicle. Now there is two different 30 minute procedures, so let's make sure you're doing the right one. Welcome back guys. Yes, there are two 30 minute procedures. In order to determine what type of procedure you are gonna to need to perform, we need to take a look at your keys. Today, we'll talk about PK3 Plus and Pass Lock. Take a look at the screen. Here, you'll see a set of keys. The top portion show PK3 Plus. You'll notice a plus symbol either next to, below, or you'll just see a plus symbol. If you have a Pass Lock system, your key will just be metal, with no chips and no resistors. Now, if your key does not say PK3 Plus or has a chip or resistor, please see a link below and I'll include a video to Passkey and PK3. Before we begin, you'll need an ECM. The ECM needs to be VIN programmed and calibrated to your vehicle. If you need to purchase one, you can visit us at allcomputerresources.com or call us toll free 1-866-699-5230. We'll be happy to help you out. Our PCMs are programmed, calibrated, VIN specific to your vehicle with a lifetime warranty at a fraction of the dealer cost. Now, before we start this procedure, it's important to check the battery and make sure it's in good working order and is fully charged. This is a 30 minute procedure and we don't want the battery to die while we're doing it. Another very important step is to ensure that there's no other underlying issues with the vehicle. If you have bad coils, bad spark plugs, bad ignition wires, bad alternator. Things like this can cause shortages to a PCM and damage that one as well. Let's make sure your vehicle is in good working condition before you install the new ECM. Let's go out to the vehicle, let's install the new ECM, and let's get the 30 minute procedure done and get you back on the road. Before you replace the PCM, we need to disconnect the battery. Remove the negative terminal from the battery and place it away from the battery terminal. Once the battery is disconnected, locate the PCM for your vehicle. The location of the PCM will vary. The PCM will have one or more plugs. In this case, we have three. The harness is fastened to the plug with either a latch mechanism or bolted. Analyze your application and be sure to remove the harness from each plug carefully. Some latches have press release and it's important to locate them to avoid damage. Be sure that all bolts or latches are completely loosened before attempting to remove the harness. The harness may be snug and could require slight force. We recommend pulling the harness from the base, not the wires. If you wiggle the harness slightly while pulling, the harness should slide right off the plug. If you have more than one plug, repeat the process for each one. Once the harness is removed, you can now remove the old PCM. Check the PCM for ground cables and remove them as well. Once the PCM is out, inspect the harness. There's a good chance there is a buildup of dirt and grime and it's important to clean the connectors to ensure good contact. We use 99% isopro alcohol and a brush to loosen up dirt and grime. Once you have the harness connectors clean, use compressed air and blow off any loose particles. Install the new PCM back in its correct location and connect any bolts and ground wires. Most modules will have color-coded harnesses to assist you with lining up the correct plug. Be sure that none of the pins on the PCM are bent before installing the harness. Install the harness by sliding it onto the correct plug. Do not force this. There are guides on the plug to ensure they are positioned correctly. Once the harness is in the correct position, close the latch or install the bolt that was removed. Reconnect the battery and we are ready for the relearn procedure. All right, 
Now that you've got the new ECM installed, the battery reconnected, we're going to perform the 30 minute key relearn procedure. Now before you get started, let's make sure your AC is off, your radio is off, and your headlights are off so we don't drain the battery any more than we need to. If you purchase the PCM from us, we've programmed and calibrated to your vehicle. However, this is a remanufactured part and it does carry some data from its donor vehicle. It's really important that you do not install a scan tool until you complete the 30 minute key relearn procedure. This will avoid any corrupt files and any issues with the PCM. Now this procedure is very specific. PK3 Plus is going to require you to engage all the way the ignition. So you're going to pretend to start the vehicle. Some vehicles will crank at this point, some vehicles will not. So let's come around to the dashboard. I'll show you the lights that are gonna turn on and off and let's get this procedure started. Insert the key into the ignition and turn the key to the start run position. Attempt to start the vehicle, then release. Notice the cluster and look for your security light. Set timer for 10 minutes. Once the clock approaches 10 minutes, wait for the security light to turn off. Once the light is gone, turn off the ignition for five seconds. After five seconds, turn the key to the start run position again, attempt to start, and look for the security light. Set your timer for 10 minutes. This is round two. Now, if you've waited 11 minutes, the security light never turned off, there's probably other issues with the vehicle. More than likely, it'll be a problem with your BCM or your instrument cluster. These are the two modules that control the theft deterrent. The PCM does not control the theft deterrent. Once the clock approaches 10 minutes, wait for the security light to turn off. Once the light is gone, turn off the ignition for five seconds. After the five seconds, turn the key to the start run position again and attempt to start. Look for the security light again and set the timer for 10 minutes. This is round three. Once the light is gone, turn off the ignition for five seconds. After the five seconds, turn the key to the start run position again and the vehicle should start at this point. So we did the relearn procedure, the car's running, you're back on the road. If your vehicle didn't start after the third cycle, try performing the procedure a fourth time. In some cases, this is gonna be required. I've even had to perform the procedure a fifth cycle for the car to start. Now, if you perform it a fifth time, chances are there's gonna be another issue with the vehicle if it didn't start. PCMs don't solve all the problems. So it's important now that you've got a new ECU installed in your vehicle, you connect a scanner and see if there's any other fault codes and proceed from there. We're glad that you tuned in today. If we can assist you in any way, please give us a call or go to our website and we'll be happy to help you.